hello guys welcome to another video on wp blogger youtube channel in today's video we are going to learn how easily to um, set up wp super cash plugin if you're a beginner and you don't know how to set up your wp super cash for optimal results this is the video for you before I get started into the details, if you are new to this channel, please subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification bell to receive alerts anytime I release one of my awesome tutorials. If you have any questions, any suggestions, any feedback, leave them in the comment box below. Are you looking for the best WordPress posting platform? I recommend to you Bluehost. Bluehost is the hosting platform we use and Bluehost is what I highly recommend to every WordPress beginner out there. Click on the link below this video. It will bring you to this home page. Just click on get started. It will bring you to this page and select one of these packages. You have 12 months, 24 months, and 36 months. So select the duration you want and select the package you want. If you want peace of mind and you want to be able to focus on your blogging journey without stressing yourself with hosting technicalities, go for Blue Host. Now, let's get started into today's video. Come into your WordPress admin dashboard on your left hand side over on plugins and click on add new. We are going to add a new plugin and the name is WP Supercash. This is the plugin I'm talking about. So let's just click install now. Once installation is completed, let's click on activate. Let's click on activate here. Our plugin is now activated. It says WP Super Cache is disabled. Please go to the plugin admin page to enable cache. So let's just click here to go into the settings and configure the necessary settings to get optimal results. Here we see caching, caching on and caching off. All we need to do is to enable or turn on the caching option here. So I'll take, I'll select caching on highly recommended and let's click on update status that is it you don't need to do any other settings this is how easy to enable caching on your wordpress blog using wp super cache you don't need to worry over any technicalities any coding and all these technical stuff, no. This is the only settings you need. Once the site has been live for some time, if you feel your cache is becoming more larger, heavier, just come to your dashboard and click on this one, delete cache, to delete any cache that you have so that the plugin will rebuild the cache. But as you can see, we have zero cache pages and all that because we just installed the plugin. So we don't have any expired cache and we don't also have any cache to delete. But once you install and you start using the plugin or the block for a day, two, three, a week, once you come here, you can delete the expired cache and you can also clear or delete the cache so that your cache is rebuilt having a cache enabled on your wordpress blog helps your site to load faster 
it helps your site to load faster so guys as a beginner if you don't have any cache plugin installed on your wordpress blog you can check out wp super cache we've come to the end of this video i hope you've enjoyed this tutorial smash the like button give me the thumbs up it means a whole lot to me if you have any questions or suggestions leave them in the comment box below if you are new to this channel don't forget to subscribe and enable the notification bell to receive alerts anytime i release one of my awesome tutorials before i take leave of you i have prepared some wordpress resources for beginners if you are a beginner in wordpress blogging check the video description box below this video you'll see all the resources there they are meant to help you move from a beginner in wordpress blogging to an expert in wordpress blogging until I come your way with another video, it's bye-bye from WP Blogger.